Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so today we will review a profile that I made one month ago selecting only daily v-shape formation level of support and resistance and to take those specific level we will use a simple swing trading strategy that we use for my profile every week and we will make an account and see how went the profile on the period of one month we are the first january and the profile was done on the 5 december 2019 so let's unzip the file so the v profile are those profile so let me delete them so we unzip cleanly the original one i close mt4 also so this profile right here v shape levels december so this profile has been made the 5 december 2019 as you can see on the history so i unzip this profile okay so here it goes now i launch metatrader 4 and we will start analyzing this profile okay so the v profile the 6v profile are from it so let's start with australian dollar profile so i'm on the daily chart and we are on the daily uh, there is period separ separator that the profile was made on the five so on audiosd it only touched one line and this line made a doji and the doji is broken down so this is we are in a trade for this level but it's not completed so I don't count it now let's look at <coughs> Australian dollar Canadian dollar we can see that right here price has touched the level of resistance so we will check if there is a pattern and there is a pattern so we have a very nice pin bar 38 pips so half of it is tac uh, tac tac 19 and 48 percent would have been around like 20 so it triggered the middle of this candle as a retracement entry the stop loss would have been 20 pips and it made largely three reward it made 130 which is around six reward i count only three reward on each but you will see most of the time it makes a very nice additional additional trade so we take only the first touch which was this level right here but as you can see later on the price came back to it and uh, we had one loss and one win if we take the retouch but we don't take the retouch just take the first touch which is safer so now let's look at odd chf uh, odd chf during this month there is no trade odd new zealand there is a trade and i believe it's a losing trade yes it is so price made this pin bar touching the level and the entrance eventually at the middle of the pin is a losing trade that's the only trade on odd new zealand now let's look at odd jpy odd jpy we have one trade and eventually a second not completed so let's check so what happened the first zone right here was totally broken by a four hour candlestick and after we have the round number and the nearly of the other one so i would have taken this trade because it's outside additional to that to the envelope so this trade made a doji and a pin bar and after the doji didn't break down the next candle so you would have taken this pin bar retracement entry or eventually breakout entry it doesn't really matter because both of those trades are winning trade with three reward both of them so that's another winning trade now let's look at the next level so the next level was right here price made a hammer and the hammer didn't break down so there is no trade for this specific level no trade after price made this specific very big doji but this doji was not broken down the next candle so there is no entry what happened then is not not really pattern and uh, here we have a pin bar in the opposite direction so i would not have taken this one especially when you are on a v-shape level and what happened next is this one we have an angle thing candle breaking down the level so you would have entered at the retracement entry right here and the stop loss is right here and this trade is running in profit for now 
and not completed yet, so I don't count it. But that's the only trade you would have, you could have taken on this specific one. Now, odd Singapore. So what happened on odd Singapore? We have the level touch on the downside, nearly touch on the downside, and this level touch on the upside. So you can see that my two levels are also very near to a very nice round number right here. But since the price didn't break and touch the level, I will not have taken this trade, so there is no trade here. After you have this doji, so we want to sell this level, this doji didn't break down on the next candle, so there is no pattern. And after, what do we have? Uh, we don't have something very nice except this one. So this one eventually you could have taken a breakout entry right here stop loss right here and this trade is running in profit for now but not we don't know exactly what it will be on the next so I don't count it so validated trade there is no trade right here now we are on euro odd euro odd only one one bounce one v-shape formation touch and this one so we have one loss pin bar right here retracement entry stop loss touch and after you have this this one but there is no pattern really except when this pin bar form and retracement entry of this pin bar would have made you take a 20 pips to reward so it's a break even trade so there is one loss only on this chart and actually there is a trade right here so you are in a trade, but we don't know what it will do, but it's this one is encouraging because it made a very nice pin bound for our chart, right here, this one. And the retracement entry touch exactly, so stop loss is here and you have around maybe one reward right now and I believe it will continue to go up and reach the profit. But it's not completed yet, so I don't count it. Now let's look at GBP odd. So GBP odd, uh, we had a level in the middle right here, and uh, I this level was a bit tricky. But it made a loss. Let me place a, a vertical line. So when did we made the level? Ah, uh, we made the level right here actually. Sorry, we made the profile right here. So we are interested eventually to buy this level right here eventually to buy this level right here no actually sorry so we are interested to sell this level right here and to buy this level right here let's look what happened so started right here the price didn't made a pattern after that and we have these dojis that you can buy right here but I was expecting a sell so I would not have taken it so I don't count it and what happened right here is this very nice pin bar, bullish pin bar, and price fly up all the way just after that. So the breakout entry is a winning trade for this specific pin bar, and that's the only trade. Now let's look at CAD, CHF, Singapore, and Metal. So let's come back to CAD, CHF, no trade. CAD, GPY, there is one loss, one win. CHF, GPY, so we have this doji didn't break down so there is no trade this can be counted as a pin bar and this one is a loss so one loss after we have the trend line so this spike is a trade Tack. and it's a winning trade right here so we have one loss one win CHF Singapore after the 5 of December, there is only z one trade right here. There is no real pattern to enter this trade, so there is no trade there. Singapore JPY, no trade. Gold, there is no trade. Silver, silver, there is a trade, a very nice trade right here. That run with two reward. I don't count it, but it's a nice trade. Running with nice profit. And uh, that's the only one, yeah, that's the only one. Now let's look at Euro pairs. Start with Euro sec. So what do we have? On the 6th of December we have railroad track on Friday. And this one right here is a winning trade, obviously. And that's the only trade. Now 
Now Euro Zar. Euro Zar, there was one trade right here and it's a losing trade. So far we have six win, five loss. Five losses. Euro knock. Okay, so Euro knock, what do we have? We have this one, but not really a good pattern, so no entry right here. And after we have a doji broken up. So stop loss would have been several pips below, and this one is a stop loss. It's a losing trade. But what happened just after is this railroad track right here. So there is one trade running and one loss. Now let's look at Euro Hong Kong. Didn't touch any level during the months. Euro Singapore, same. Euro GPY. Euro GPY, same. Euro New Zealand. Now oh, Euro New Zealand, we have a trade. So, same. But it was, it didn't touch the level, so there is no trade actually. Sorry, so I place a vertical line on the 5th of December. That's when I did the, prof the profile. And uh, when price reaches this level, we have a very nice pin bar, and this pin bar is very tight and made obviously six rewards, so it's a winning trade. And that's the only trade because the other one didn't make a pattern at the level. Now let's look at Euro CHF. Euro CHF, we have a trade. Let's look. So what happened? Price breaks this level after made a little candle and a pin bar but this pin bar doesn't touch the level so you could have eventually entered this trade but it would have finished uh, around break even or eventually 2.53 reward I don't count it anyway what I will count is eventually this doji broken up and uh, this one is a very long trade and after there was a possibility to re-enter right here so as uh, there is one trade that would have finished break even most likely and this one is a winning trade. So there is only one winning trade to count. So EuroCAD no trade, Euro USD. Okay, so what happened on Euro USD? We have this very nice trade right here with this doji broken down, stop loss right here, and this one made three reward obviously. So it's a winning trade. And after uh, the level is just broken right now and didn't make a really enable pattern so there is no trade running. So that's it for Europair. Let's check GBP. Okay, so GBP, USD, so I made the profile right here. So the level that touch after that. We have eventually this pin bar, so one trade right here, and it's a losing trade, broken down. And uh, eventually this one it's a second closing trade on this level and after that we have a very long candle going up with a doji and the doji is a winning trade but we don't count it that was the only opportunity so there is two losses on this profile now let's look at GBP CHF so profile was met right here so this level was very near actually there is nothing we could do with that I will not attack so what happened there this level, no pattern, no pattern, and here you have a pattern right here. Stop loss is right here, it's a doji broken down, and it's a winning trade. So we have one winning right here. After at this level we have a doji, didn't broken up, so there is no trade. And uh, that's it. Yep. So we have only one win for this chart. Now GBP cut down. GBP cut down. So same, I had a level in the middle, but this level, uh, tac, tac, tac. this one right here, made an angle fin candle from the level, a retracement entry triggered and made a winning trade. So we have one win right here. After that we have an angle fin candle right here, breakout of this angle fin is also a winning. And after we have a doji, breakout of this doji is also a winning. So we have three winning trade and eventually I can count one loss right here because price broken this specific level. So one loss, sorry I can count here, there is a white line right here and retracement entry right here is here, how many pips? 37 and it made 78, also no this one is break even. So we just have one loss and one, two, three win on this chart. Now let's look at GBP 
GPY. Okay, so profile was made on the fifth. We have one pin bar right here, this one is a loss, and after this one is a loss two. So we have two loss Ah no, maybe not actually. Show me, let me try that. Replacement entry of this one. No, it's a loss two. So two losses and after we have one dodgy just after the level, this one is a winning trade. So one win, two losses. Okay, so GBP New Zealand right here. So what happened right here? We have first level touch right here, made a pin bar, retracement entry is good, but didn't made uh, two rewards, so it's a losing trade. And after, what do we have? We have this railroad track right here, it's another losing trade. So one, two loss. Now let's look at GBP Singapore. Same price started here. We have very nice doji right here, little doji broken down actually. So this one uh, actually is a winning trade. Let me check. Francis, some tweet. Oh, it's a break even trade. One break even right here. And uh, I would say one loss and one win. Why do I say one loss? Because there is a retracement trade right here and this one is broken and after there is this single thing, retracement entry, stop loss didn't trigger and this one is a winning trade. So one break even, one loss, one win. And after for the next level, you have this level nearly triggered and doji broken down, it's a winning trade. And finally, we have this, doji didn't break up and this railroad track, you could have entered right here, stop loss around here, and this one is a winning trade. So one, two more winning trade. Euro GBP. Euro GBP. So price started right here. Made this very nice pin bar, retracement entry is a total winner. And after you have this angle thing, which is a total winner also. And after you have another doji right here buying and it's a winning also. So this level winning, this level winning and uh, this level winning. Three win on your GBP. Now let's look GBP try. So GBP try made the doji broken down and this one is a losing trade. But after that it triggered the stop loss and made a pin bar retracement entry is a winning trade. So one loss, one win. That's the only level that has touched on GBP try this month. GBP sec. Okay, GBP sec it's a dotted line. Well, it's a winning trade, but I will not count it because of the nature of the line. Okay, so GBP knock. We have our first trade right here. It's a winning trade, of course. This one doji didn't trigger. This one pin bar. Uh, not really pin bar, actually. This one is a pin bar. So we have one loss right here. So one win, one loss, and at the bottom right here we have one win. Just yesterday. So one win, one loss, one win. So far there is uh, uh, tech, 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 18, 23 win, 23 win and around 15, 16 loss. losses. So let's continue with New Zealand pair. Let's start with New Zealand USD. So what do we have? Uh, this one didn't break down, didn't break down. Uh, this spin bar right here, or this one eventually. Stop loss right in here. Let me check how many pips. So stop loss is 12 and it made 34, 34, 36. So it's a winning trade actually. So one win right here. After what happened? We have this one, nice doji broken down and it's a winning trade also. So we have one win, two win, and after one loss and two loss. Two win, two losses. New Zealand CAD. So on the 6th, so on the 6th of December we have this railroad track right here. Breakout, it's a winning trade. And that's the only trade because the level was already taken. Now let's look at New Zealand CHF. What we get? We get two two nice opportunities there. 
We get this nice pin bar, followed by a dodgy and the dodgy broken down. Stop loss right here. Even even here it's the same. It's a winning trade. And we have this very nice pin bar broken up and this one is a like maybe seven, eight reward, so we have two winning trades on this chart. New Zealand JPY. Let's check what happened. It's very nice. So on the fifth what do we have? We have this one, hammer didn't break down, so it's not a trade. After we have this pin bar, this pin bar is a loss. Retracement entry, stop loss right here, losing trade. So this one, one loss. After you have doji didn't broke down, doji broke down. Stop loss right here, it's a winning trade. Uh, this level is taken, and after this level there is no pattern. There is this doji broken down, stop loss right here, and it's running in profit. So, so far on this chart, you have one win and one loss. Knock GPY, what happened? Tack. So, knock GPY, we have this nice trade. Doji, broken down. And uh, maybe it's two rewards, so it's a break even trade. Tack, six, eight. No, it didn't make two rewards, so it's a losing trade. One losing trade. And uh, this one is a losing trade, too. Railroad track and uh, broken up. So two losing trade on this chart. Now let's look at USD pairs. USD CAD. So the profile started right here. Tac. Made the railroad track. This railroad track uh, didn't trigger just after, so there is no trade right here. Or oh, even really one reward, so I will count it as a loss just in case and the second level was a doji didn't broke up so there is no trade one loss only on this chart now usd jpy usd jpy there was a very nice trade doji but very big doji broken down uh, it's a winning trade anyway but it's a very large trade so i would have entered eventually around this trade would have been better for me so yeah or i would have search have entered maybe the retracement entry once this candle closed way below, I would have searched an entry right here, which make it more reasonable. But anyway, there is only one trade, and it's a winning. Now USD CHF. USD CHF, there is only one trade, and it's running, I think. Yeah, there is one loss. This specific doji broken up. This one is a losing trade. Oh, maybe, no, let me check. I think the two reward has been met, so... Stop loss would have been 7, 6, and actually it made 16, so it's a break even trade right here. It's a break even trade. And that's the only one. So there is no trade right here. USD Singapore. There is a nice trade, middle of the month. As you can see, Doji right here broken up, and this one is a nice 3 reward one win and uh, that's the only one we have eventually have a trade right now breaking up for a buy because it's a very nice teeny doji but it will be for next week if we have a possibility to re-enter this trade now USD ZAR there is only one trade right here and it's a losing trade SEC JPY I believe there is a nice winning yeah there is so what do we have? We have this doji. This one is does not confirm as a doji. This one confirm. So when this one break down, the stop loss is a bit above, and uh, it's a good winning trade on this one. That's the only trade for this month on this pair. USD Polonia. USD Polonia. We don't have a trade actually. Oh, uh, we have a trade, sorry. We have a losing trade right here. It made a doji, broken up the doji, and it's a losing trade. Well, also remember it's for December and there is Christmas and New Year's Eve inside those specific uh, times, so... Even though the results are really, really awesome already, but it was during a very dangerous month, so you have to know that. So, we are on the USD Danish Krona, and this one was a very nice trade right here. 
very nice pin bar right here doji doji broken up stop loss right here and obviously a very big winner that's the only trade on this chart usd xetch there is a trade uh, nearly a railroad track right here I would have I wait a new confirmation next week to re-enter around this level it's a very nice level so it should go up and make our reward quite easily so no trade yet USD HUF uh, tech. nearly touched but didn't actually so we have some so this level is broken so there is no trade right here and after that this level is removed from the chart what happened here? The level didn't touch exactly, so there is no trade on USD HUF. USD Mexican Peso. There is a winning, I think. Yes, there is. So what do we have here? We have this pin bar, retracement entry, didn't trigger, and after we have another pin bar, same. Retracement entry did trigger. Ah, it may only two reward on this one, I think. Yes, so it's a break even. So now there is no trade right here. So let me count for you the total so the total account is there is 34 winning trades with 3 reward which means 102 reward and there is 23 losing trade with 1 risk so 102 minus 23 equals 79 79 reward profit on 1 month using only the v-shape daily levels which make overall 158% profit of your account using this specific uh, way to plotting your level and the 4 hour swing strategy. So I did this video just to prove with live chart and live example how this V-shape formation can work very well from the daily chart and you can see some of the times there is way 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 more than 3 reward to take. So that's the way it works. Um, I hope you learn and if you have any question ask me I will be happy to answer you. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading, see you soon!